Vegas, Nevada, USA. Many of you already know that I'm in the States for uh, university. I'm currently doing my master's in international development at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. I'm just in Las Vegas right now for the, the U.S. Rugby Sevens. Um, but I go to school in D.C. Um, and it's been an interesting experience. Um, pursuing a master's degree is a lot of work, <laughs> um, very time consuming and demanding. And it's been quite a, a change from what I was doing when I was back home in Kenya, but I'm still very grateful to be in one of the finest schools um, in my field. I really don't take that for granted. And so just hoping to learn a lot and bring it back home and um, do something with it and do something to change the country as well. I love you guys. <laughs> um, you know, that's that's been the uh, one of the hardest things about being here. Being here, it's not like it's been an easy experience. It's actually been quite difficult. Leaving already was hard. I really struggled with even coming to school if that was the right decision to make. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions like, where are you? When are you coming back? <laughs> Why did you go in the first place? And um, so hopefully by now they understand that you know I'm trying to pursue uh, my education. I figured it gets harder and harder to go and you leave. But in terms of the fans, um, I'm thankful that they continue to interact with me on my page and just to keep in touch and just to continue to part their love and support. And so I think you know many of them have like really just grown accustomed to the fact that I'm now in school and they've been very supportive. So I get so many messages of people just cheering me on, they pray for me, they send words of encouragement and scripture and all that. So um, it's, it's tough, it's definitely tough, but I'm really thankful that they continue to love on me. My page has grown significantly since I left Kenya, which, and it's not like I, you know, doing too much on that because again school is so demanding but that for me just shows that you know people still love who I am and what it is that I do and still very interested to hear even more content from me. So that makes me excited. It's it's difficult to be away but I'm thankful that so if someone is a musician in Kenya or in the US or wherever it is I still love music and will definitely have something else coming out. Um, I worked very hard to finish my album before I left and so um, many of them, that's available to them to purchase, that's available at Kasanga's music shop, Hala. so make sure you get yourself a copy. Um, and then also I will be having, God willing, very soon, another video release coming up, so I'm very excited about that. Um, it's going to be a bit different, but I'm still very excited about it and I can't wait for people to see it. No, um, I'd definitely like to explore uh, musical opportunities here as well. Um, so I haven't been able to do that in the first, like, last few months just because I've been getting adjusted to being back in the States, to finding my footing, um, especially with school. Um, but now at least I've done a semester, I just sort of started the second one. Um, definitely planning on looking around and seeing what what could happen so I, that door is definitely open that's <laughs> that's um that's what i want <laughs> but um i mean I, I came here with that intention that i was going to go back um, as soon as i'm done with school it's just my professors and everybody else is trying to encourage me to also keep an open mind but so i'm going back to kenya <laughs> I just don't know exactly like when or something, so I can't give a timeline because I get such questions. People on Facebook on and Elisa, Una arrive what date? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> um, I still need to finish school first, but that's the plan. Because even what I'm studying is for me to go back and apply back in Kenya. Yeah, I have, and that's that I think has been one of the most exciting things for me. I never thought I'd come <laughs> all day this way, and people are like, "Oh my gosh, you're Jason Wundi! I listen to your songs, and I used to watch you on Raoka." And I'm like, "Wow!" <laughs> um, so that's been really exciting. I uh, I've sung in a couple places. Um, most recently in Boston, I went to sing at a church there. So people here are also buying my album, which is just amazing, and. Um, inviting me to their churches, inviting me to their fellowships to sing. 
I'm not able to make all of them obviously with school being my number one priority right now um, but there's lots more of that to come and yeah it's, it's exciting to meet Kenyans doing their thing here and um, especially Kenyans in the faith who appreciate what it is that I do with my gift as well so um, looking forward to even more of those coming up um, between now and the rest of the year. I, I would love to. Um, being on TV was just, it was a very interesting experience. I had never um, had any like training in media or communications, but um, I really just did it. <laughs> the first couple of times it was it was rough because it was literally learning on the job and then it's a live show so I mean you you make your mistakes on air there's no cut edit take two there's nothing like that um, I literally had to learn on air um, but I it was one of the best times of my life I think and just I got to do something that I really enjoy um, it had to do with music, it had to do with faith and encouraging people, which are things that are very dear to me. So, um, I definitely uh, would look into that in the future. And now, even as I study international development, my goal is if I can use music and media um, just to influence development in Kenya, I feel like then I'd be optimizing all of my gifts. For a while, I really struggled with whether I should drop one for the other, but um, I just I feel that God can still make it work that we can still pursue both and um, be useful to him in, in both those ways so yeah music media development all of it I just I really want to say thank you honestly I, I'll never get tired of telling people thank you um, I don't take it for granted that people you know again listen to what I sing about and I encouraged by what I sing about, um, that they love who I am and who I represent and what I want to represent. I really don't take that for granted. And so to everyone, I encourage them, you know, to get my album. Like, I guarantee you it will be a worthy investment and I just know it will be a blessing unto you. And I'm so grateful for the support and I just pray that they'll continue to do so. Um, thank you again for the love. I love you guys as well. <laughs> and um, just look forward for so much more coming. This is only the beginning. I surely believe that the best is yet to come. And so thank you again, whether in Kenya or the US or wherever it is that you are. Um, keep it locked. Lots more coming from me to you with lots of love.